All right, so here we go, round one action at Spear in Las Vegas, Nevada, D.C. I knew you were not going to miss this. This thing opened late 2023 to much fanfare. It is the largest spherical building in the world. You ready to fight? Ready. Good. Caution, flammable. Here is Anthony Rumble Johnson. You can ask Ryan Bader about the power and what he brings. Oh, he landed. He hurt. Now he's back up. on his opponent. He's not moving his head effectively. He's trying to be face first. Look, you don't have to prove how tough you are. You got to move your head. Be active. Don't be reactive in your defenses. Well, you can feel the crowd anticipation when Anthony Rumble Johnson walked out tonight. You know about the power. You got two head-to-head -head wins against him. Yeah, I felt it. I mean, I feel it. It's the overhand right. It's the uppercut that knocked out Glover Teixeira in 13 seconds. This man is power defined. And you see it on full display in the octagon right now. Nice takedown. There you go. Oh, he's got to be careful there. Yep. Pretty good head movement. He's avoiding a lot of these ground strikes. Pretty good work with the ground and pound here by Johnson. And he is back up to his feet. Gets caught by that straight punch there. Man, it's almost like he's got a range finder out there. Just too easy as he connects with another good series of punches. If you're boxing this guy and only boxing him, you will be in trouble. So there it is, DC, the fighter with the longer reach, able to counter flush with a straight punch. All right, so he earned respect from his opponent early on with the power, and now the swelling really started to become a factor. The swelling started to become a factor. This guy is so good at recognizing a weakness in his opponent, he got him hurt, he got him swollen a little bit, and now it's starting to pay dividends. Damn, blocks the shot there. now dealing with a cheat cut. Just over two minutes, round one. Oh, that's a beautiful land downstairs with the kick. Oh, nice left hook. Well, straight right hand has been a good weapon for him. He misses with it there. Oh, bleeding from his cheek now. Damage done. Oh, beautiful hook there. He's going to get a team. Oh, somehow, some way he got out. These guys are back and forth, but the submission defense wins this transition. Oh, nice. Oh, he's got his knee on the belly, raining down punches here. Like that. There it is. Now he's on the mountain. Gotta start throwing now. Moving his head on the ground here, avoiding a lot of these big shots. He's gotta be careful here. Well, the ground and pound is there once again. Strong work here by Johnson. Oh, another strike lands from the top. Oh, and he's back up again. Well, I'm not sure if there's a facial fracture of some kind, but the striking approach has certainly worked tonight. And his opponent is hurting for sure. He's hurting really bad right now. I mean, every single time a shot lands on top, you can see the damage that it's inflicting. The, the, the... Oh, he's bad. So we cross 
the 30-second mark in our opening round. You see him put himself into the half guard. Like the control, yep. Johnson's eye is starting to swell shut. He needs to shove the knees. Get his opponent's knee off of his belly so he can get to his feet. Final seconds of round one. for the end of round one. All right, well, one minute of end swell can only do so much. Let us look back at some of the damaging strikes in that previous round. It doesn't seem like it's gonna do much. And if it does, he can't take any more of these shots. He was too stationary. He took everything square on the target. He's gotta move his head, and he's gotta be proactive instead of reactive in terms of his defenses. You ready to fight? Ready. Round two here. Yeah, that was a good stick to the head. So he's really starting to put together some significant body shots here. These are going to take their toll as this fight goes on. Leading now, nasty cut on his nose. Pretty good combination. Nice shot there by the champ. Effective punch there by Johnson. Well, he landed a big knockout in the previous round, and you can just tell his confidence is growing from here. His confidence is through the roof, as it should be. He's doing a great job right now of landing strikes. He just now has to find the one that's going to end the night. Well, this fight's been pretty crazy thus far. Both guys doling out a lot of damage, and neither seems too bothered by it, but clearly both parties are hurt. Both guys are hurt. Both guys are fighting beautifully. Oh! Feet yet again, oh, but not a good look for the judges here. Look how well he is. Oh. oh, this could be over soon. Good job being a threat off your back and not allowing your opponent to get comfortable. There's a lot of good movement. Now he's got a good body position, yo. Back and forth we go. It takes two to tango, and man, have these two individuals tango tonight. I might run it back at some point, no matter how this one is. It's one of those fights, and when you look at these two and the damage on their faces, the work that they have both put in, you realize and you appreciate what these fighters do inside the octagon. They're both hurt. They're both beat up. And both of these guys have shown a tremendous amount of resilience to put themselves in position to win this fight. Oh, oh. There it is again. Look at that. Oh, he is hurting for something. Well, the right hand has been there at times, not that time. Big, big strikes continue to land. Oh, another blow hits right on that swollen area. He is in real trouble now. Referee may want to look for the doctor soon. The ground strikes continue to pile up. He's doing a really good job putting himself in position. Well, he's on his back, but he's moving his head on the ground pretty well defensively. Now to go in round two. He's done. He's done. Oh! Holy smokes! So how about that? As he pounds him out for the TKO, prioritized the finish tonight. Absolutely gets it with style points. A huge, huge result here in this arena tonight. It's always fun to see an athlete tell you what they're going to do, and then they do it. This guy told us he was going to get a finish, and that's exactly what he did. Him and his team are gonna have a fantastic time tonight celebrate. They should all be very proud. So congratulations to Anthony Rumble Johnson. When he maintains distance and when he refrains from being reckless, this is an absolute killer at 205 pounds. The power on full display yet again here tonight came in with eight UFC bonuses. 
might just get another one after that victory here tonight. Big, big win for Anthony Rumble Johnson.